voice acting is one of the most disrespected and underappreciated art forms in the entertainment industry to date. This is where actors go to die. It takes no real talent. It's easy. Just put on a silly voice and you're good to go. Are all common phrases that have been used to describe the voice acting industry for decades. In today's clip, I had the esteemed honor and privilege of sitting down with professional voice actor Mary Juno, who has starred in many cartoons, video games, and promos. Watch as she describes some of the difficulties and pressures that comes with being in this industry and breaks down those phrases as lies, misconceptions, and straight up disrespect to the industry. Enjoy. <laughs> I'm curious, what are some pressures and expectations that come with doing sort of voice matching work? Well, voice matching work, I mean, there's just different ways that it can be applied. Like, you'd be surprised a lot of the movie trailers that you watch, you're not hearing the actual actor. A lot of people don't know that. Um, because movie trailers move so quickly on um, a lot of times the footage that they want to use you know the audio wasn't in the best quality or whatever and they need to get the actor back in the studio to do some pickups and adr and they just don't have the time and so more often than not they're calling on sound like people like us um you know hey can you sound like this can you sound like that and so um yeah really the the pressure is trying to match i mean there's so many things you have to have in mind you have to match First of all, it's not easy because a lot of times producers seem to think that voice talent are psychic. <laughs> they, see, they will send us a snippet of maybe sometimes a second of audio, two seconds of audio. And a lot of times it's not even a similar scene to what we have to match on screen. So I, like, I recently had a situation where I did about four callbacks to match a celebrity in a trailer um, and they were like, oh, you know, she's going to be uh, giving a speech and this and that or whatever. I'm like, okay, well, could I see a clip of the trailer? And they're like, well, it hasn't been released yet, so we can't give it to you. And I'm like, well, I know it hasn't been released yet, but I can't really match anything if I can't hear it or see it. So, you know, oftentimes they'll give you a clip. And so, I mean, I've literally gotten clips where the actor's whispering, but they want me to do something where they're yelling and they seem to think, oh, if the actor can just hear a couple of microseconds of this voice, we know how to translate to how they sound completely different in a completely different environment, which of course is not true. So that's one of the biggest challenges of it um, is that people think we're psychic and that we can just figure that out. Um, also, you know, matching the age, you know, sometimes we're having to match somebody decades older or younger than us. And so that requires not only adjusting the pitch of your voice, but also your energy level, you know, is the character sitting or standing, you know, like we are a wind instrument and you know, you're trying to match how you're playing that instrument. So you have to, if you can get footage of the actual actor in action, that's the best thing is you can see them in motion. How are they standing? How are they holding their body? How are they moving their instrument? Um, and so that's layer one is getting all that match, but then you have to actually act. And sometimes it's really hard to, you get so focused on like getting every phrase to sound just like them, that now you sound robotic. You sound like them, but you don't sound like you're acting. So there's just a lot of steps and sweep throughs that you have to do to kind of go, okay, all right, I got, I, got, I got this part down, I got this part down, we've got the voice match, now let's actually bring it to life. So there's a lot of elements to it other than like, I can, you know, make funny voices. So it can be tough. <laughs> that's one misconception a lot of people have about voice acting that's just really bothering me, especially <laughs> getting to speak to so many of you guys who just do this great work. Is this, you know, I've always heard people be like, oh, you have a great voice, do voice acting, or da -da 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 -da, I can do this and do that. And it's like, y'all don't understand. Y'all really don't. Y'all don't. don't get it. Y'all think it's easy, but it's really not. There's a lot they of stuff that goes into this. There's yeah. a lot of there's a lot of work that goes into it. There's a lot of time that goes into it. There's a lot of dedication that goes into it. And for people to see voice acting as a lesser form of acting or something that's just like easy money is yeah. so asinine and annoying. Personally, it's just like, and I know for voice actors, you know, your, yourself, you must be a little bit be like. I don't know what y'all are talking about. <laughs> but yeah. I respond to someone on Twitter being like, oh, you, no, no, no. Let me, let me, I, I can't let them know. I can't let them see that side of me. Let me tell you. <laughs> 
I totally get, like, it doesn't make me mad. I know some actors, it gets them very upset, but I totally get why some people would think that because it's our job to make it look easy, you know, but people don't understand this took years and years and years of practice and training and 10,000 plus hours of immersing ourselves in this world in one way or the other, whether that was studying people and mimicking them or, you know, training our ear to have a more musical ear or, you know, acting classes and voice acting classes, which are completely different. And, you know, it, it takes a long time to become an overnight success at this. And while you may be a natural mimic, that doesn't mean that you can act because acting is a completely different skill from sounding like something. And sadly, a lot of times the people who perpetuate the sort of myth of about it being easy tend to be on camera actors who are just hired to be them. Like I know Chris Rock got in a lot of trouble years ago. I think he said for Madagascar, like I just show up and make a million dollars and it's great. And it's just like, yeah, well, cause you're Chris Rock. All you have to do is sound like Chris Rock. And if there's something you're not doing right though, we'll walk you through it and you just mimic them and you go home. For us, the demands and the, the pay is much lower and the demands are much higher. So it's not the same at all. And, you know, many on camera celebrities have also said it, and even non celebrities, you know, people have said, no, oh, voice acting is actually one of the hardest forms of acting there is because there is no, oh, getting the full script, you know, um, weeks in advance so you can figure out what your motivation is and read everybody else's lines and get the context of the entire story and just sit with this one piece and absorb it. And like, we are busy doing a million things at once. I mean, in the course of a day, I can be 12 different people from doing the news to doing animation auditions, to doing video games, to doing, you know, uh, telephony work, to doing uh, industrial narrations or, or TV narrations. Like I'm, I'm all over the place with who I am and we have to do it quickly and get in and out of all these different characters. And nine times out of 10, especially like a video game, you don't even see the, the copy until you walk in the door. You have no time to prep. You don't know the, the you don't know what game you're auditioning for that you booked. You don't know, you know, who the developer is sometimes. You don't know much of anything until they go, all right, let's sit down with the director for about five, 10 minutes. We're gonna tell you really quick how it goes. We're gonna get you in the booth. We're gonna just give you the lines by yourself and go and you got to quickly go from emotion to emotion and context to context like i i had a game once i think it was um i think it was far cry 5 or something like that or far cry new dawn and the way that the uh spreadsheet had been put out the lines were out of order and so i played this character who had basically been captured um as a hostage but the scenes were out of order to where one line would be while I was captured and I was terrified. And then the next line would be scenes later where I was released. And so my attitude was completely different. So I literally had to go in between like, I'm so scared, I'm terrified to talking like this and confident. I'm so scared. And I mean, you had to be psychotic like to do that, <laughs> you know, but I was like, can't we just sort this differently on the spreadsheet? But we didn't. So I kept going in and out, in and out. And that's the sort of skill you have to have. And just quickly the director's like okay you're being chased by a bear you know who is owned by your best friend and you feel like this and, blah, blah, and you have to bring all these layers of emotions in seconds you know and it has to be believable and then on to the next one the next one for thousands of lines so yeah it's, it's not just jumping out in your jammies and having some fun you know it, it, it is a blast it's one of the coolest jobs in the world i always say my worst day on this job will still beat my best day in the corporate world. You know, this is like the best job in the world, but it doesn't mean it's super easy. <laughs> Definitely. All jobs come with, uh, with their, with their fair share of difficulties. And, uh, yeah, that, that is a narrative that by doing these, I hope that people can put that to rest or like hear other voice actors speak about it and be like, damn, that sounds yeah. like a lot because just hearing you talk about that is making my head spin. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, and that's just scratching <laughs> the surface. You know, that's just scratching the surface. You know, yeah, I'm still obsessed with the industry to this day. I mean, to, to this day, I mean, I've been doing this full time now. I mean, I've been doing this a lot longer, but I've been doing this full time when I decided, like, this is what I'm going to do for a living since 08. And I mean, here we are in 2022, and I'm still listening to podcasts and, and, you know, constantly going to workshops and training like you always have to be on your game just like michael jordan i mean the best of the best are still 
you got to stay sharp. You know, this is not a, oh, I just have this natural God given talent. Let me just walk through the door and blow everybody's mind. That may get you so far, but it won't last, you know, you know. Absolutely. Damn. <laughs> put them, put them, put them. Gotta let them know. Gotta let them know. Gotta let them know. <laughs>